What's up with it guys, Kali Muscle here. Thanks for stopping by to the channel again. So today I'll be telling you guys my experience with the Watermelon Fast, AKA Challenge, AKA Detox. First from the beginning, how I started or what even gave me the inclination or the thought or the motivation to start the Watermelon Challenge. So for years straight, I had a heart attack I had a heart attack first in November 2021. So I had to put everything into perspective. I had to get rid of addictions, steroid addiction. I had to get rid of uh, bad carbs. White rice was my go-to. I had already stopped grains. I had already, no, I was still eating beef at the time and chicken and pork and fish. You know, at the time of the heart attack, uh, I was actually eating uh, not the no pun intended or to put uh, a bad cloud over his uh, meals, but I was eating Stan Effort in uh, vertical diet meals. It consisted of a lot of white rice, beef, a lot of bone broth, high sodium, and I had one. Actually, that day I had a heart attack. Doing the mukbangs as everybody, you know, try to throw in my face all the time. And... Uh, so at the same time, I thought I was being healthy when I had the heart attack. Uh, I had cut back my weight. I was only wearing a 220 pounds, which you can still see I look enormous even at that, you know, uh, because I am, you know, it's say 5'10", but I'm right an inch and a half under. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm a short guy, right? So I thought I was being healthy. I was only doing those mukbangs maybe once a week. So you figure prison time, eating Top Ramen for 11 years of my life. Terrible. I was eating all the worst foods man can eat for 11 years. Uh, before that, as a kid, I ate a sad diet, right? Um, standard American diet, for those who don't know what that is. I was eating that. So all my years of life, I've been eating food to clog me up. So bam, it hit me. November... 21, I was uh, 46 years old, hit me, right? Thought I was having heartburn, boom. Wasn't heartburn. Go to the hospital, I go get a stint. Within 30 minutes in the hospital, I was getting a stint put in my left artery. Bam, okay? Fast forward. Uh, on meds, on heart meds, all this stuff. I said, I'm eating no more meat. I'm just going to eat fish. So I was eating fish, rice. Added salads into my diet, a lot of water, and this is after the heart attack. I was still dipping with caffeine. So yeah, I was still dipping in caffeine, uh, which I have a supplement line, so I was still taking that. I had micro-dosed it. Uh, I had an epiphany, like I need to lay off everything but salmon and spinach. So I did that for a year straight, and, um, and I added in fruits. I was uh, getting in a lot of dried fruits. Uh, I started adding in apples. I would have an apple a day. You know, I was on my healthy journey. And so as a year go by, one day I was on the internet. And I mean, I'm trim at this point. I got all the way down to 190 pounds. For me, I always wanted to get back that weight, to be honest. So I looked good. I felt good. I was strong in the gym, had energy. And so a month before I embarked upon the watermelon challenge, I stopped caffeine. Just abruptly, I was like, I don't even need it no more because I was taking my, I have a gum called work gum, and it have 50 milligrams of caffeine. So I was just taking that for several months, one piece. And at one point, one day I didn't have it when I went to the gym, I'm like, oh, I don't need it no more. So I was already off caffeine for a month and just eating fruit, spinach, and salmon. So I seen a video of this young guy, Bobby Smith, and he was just eating watermelon and just made it look so enticing. I'm like, wow, he making that watermelon look too good. What? He said he on how many days? He said he was on like 60, 68 days or 70 days of straight watermelon. I'm like, hold on, man. If I could eat once a day, you know, uh, and this dude eating all this watermelon, I could do it. Hopped in the challenge, man, and we became friends and uh, became friends with all the people that was already involved in the challenge. 
And I'm going to take you guys through my experience with starting a challenge. So, I, I, I'm going I'm to go as I remember. Day one, um, what happened with day one, my day one wasn't intentional. Um, we had a collaboration with uh, Natalie Eva Marie, a WWE star. And all that day, I hadn't ate. So I'm like, huh, I just go home and uh, eat some watermelon. This could be the start of my watermelon challenge. So I just went home, ate watermelon, went to sleep. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Let's get it started. So I told my business partner, Hyphy Whitey, the next day, like, I kind of already started, but I'm going to say today is the first day. And so uh, I just started. I'd already made a group, Hyphy Healthy. Uh, and told them, if y'all want to join, join in. And that grew like nothing else I ever started before. And um, so I started, and the group was already at like 5,000 followers by the time I started. So I told them, I started a few days ahead of you guys to make sure that the coast is clear. <laughs> yeah, the first uh, two days... What happened was my bowels changed dramatically. It looked like watermelon, and it floated. I had never seen this in my life. That was a big indicator to me, like, oh, something is either that's good or it's bad. <laughs> so I even Googled it. And, of course, Google would be like, oh, your poop not supposed to rise up and float. Or if it do, it's gases. And I'm like, bro, this is the healthiest I ever ate in my life. How is it going to be bad? And so the word got out, of course, on the internet, and uh, we're getting to that in a second. But uh, I felt, so I had the first day, i never forget, the dreams were vivid. I was in a deep REM sleep. It felt like I was sunk in the bed. I could elevate it above myself and saw myself sleeping. I had like, Five dreams, like more than I ever had in my life. That first night, all watermelon. Um, and that went on for three days. Uh, I experienced uh, a lot of spirituality, a lot of self-reflecting. It hit me like, why do people eat animals and harm animals? I got real emotional, too. The second time in my life, God actually spoke to me. After the third day, we ran into uh, some problems. Sleep. Uh, I wasn't able to sleep, like, because I was up urinating all the time, you know, and I know the doctor's sign, is, oh, that's a sign of diabetes. <laughs> no, it's I was drinking 30 pounds of water a day. Like, the, the watermelons I was getting was old school water, seeded watermelon. They were like 35 pounds minimum that we were getting. And so you got to think, that's all fluids I mean. And I was doing it later at night. Like I should have been stopping like 5 p.m. with watermelon. But I was going to 7, 8 p.m. Because I was live streaming, cutting it up on stream. Uh, so I was going later in the night with it. So I suffered sleep, man. And I, I'm not one to suffer with sleep because I had twin babies so I wasn't getting sleep for three years three hours a day max so I was used to that of course my older age and me trying to regenerate my heart tissue that was bad it's another raffle yes you can win this right here this beauty this 2022 GT 500 that's decked out to the max it got the Cobra in there oh these lights you could change to any color this is added JLT performance. And then you got the 760 horsepower. Look at that. We got them 20s with the powder coated finish, black, all black. You got the personalized carbon brakes right there. See the door, it come out normal, right? Then you can do this. Look at that, man. Come on. We come inside. Personalized Shelby GT500 car back. $2,500 for this. Carbon fiber finish over there. Then you got this right here, that carbon fiber. Oh God, I shouldn't have touched it. Personalized audio system. That comes with the audio system. You got the Shelby up here on the seat up there. Beautiful wing on here. Then we open this up, it's beat. Look at that. 
it's just hooked up. So what do you want? Do you want the GT500 or would you like 60K cash? Second place get $2,000, third place get $1,000. Come on, y'all, let's do it. We did it before you saw the last winner. He took the cash. That's what I would have did. What you gonna do? Enter now, let's go, baby. Everything was fine up until day about maybe 10 to 14. Uh, started my senses rise so when my wife because usually when my wife would cook to put the kids I'd be elsewhere sometimes on purpose sometimes not <laughs> and uh, the aromas started getting in my nose which I've never been a foodie in my life guys even though you might see the mukbangs all that I hated food so it's easy for me to mono eat and stuff like that uh, as a kid my hate uh, started as a kid because I had to force feed myself to get uh, muscles, to get uh, the physique I wanted. So I despised food. I just used to scarf stuff down and be gagging like, oh, I want to eat this. Like I was being forced to, right? But uh, it was my decision. When she would cook vegetables, that would get me. Uh, onion. I smelled the onions, garlics. I smelled the basil. You know, uh, the cucumbers. and So that would get to me. All the healthy stuff she would cook. Not meat. Uh, when I smelled meat, I just, uh, in my spirit and soul, I just wanted to regurgitate. Tenth day through fourteenth, I was dealing with that. Didn't have, no, I didn't want to cheat or nothing like that because I, I feel too manly, godly, kingly to want to cheat. <laughs> I wanted to go as long as I could with the watermelon challenge. I wanted to be going 90 days and all, you know, those big numbers like that just to, for my own ego and personal reasons. I like, I love mono eating. It simplifies things and you don't have to go hunt for food and you just got to keep that joker with you though because your energy will get low. So, energy, it came and went. You know what I mean? It comes and goes when you're on watermelon. Uh, in the gym, I was doing fantastic. I got stronger, actually. And I had my blood work, my testosterone actually went up. In the gym, felt good. All the way up until maybe day 15. Uh, like I say, and I, you guys got to remember, I was getting lack of sleep. So I was in the delusional maybe space and I even noticed that with all you know all my friends that do the fast the watermelon fast like we, we, you look in our eyes we look kind of like high you know uh, and that's from l sleep deprivation and you know being having the energy at the same time of the watermelon delirious I would say <laughs> after day three four after the fourth day I became like just floaty. You just feel like you floating about and it was an awesome experience, I must say. So boom, day about 15, I noticed I worked out, I drunk some, uh, I had been drinking uh, the watermelon all this time. The rind, I just do the whole watermelon. I grind, I blended the rind, put that in its own container and I blend the watermelon, I had that in, my, in its own container. I would drink the watermelon and sip it during the workout. So all of a sudden, I started getting indigestion. Scary the first time because it, it reminded me of the heart attack. And I was in the gym. I'm like, man, you know, feeling weird, scared, kind of. Didn't kind of mention it to Hypey Whitey. I didn't want to alarm him. And so it was a scary episode. I never really had that except the heart attack, you know, and uh, just started, it was in my throat, you know, and so it alarmed me, so it, we had, and we had stuff to do that day, so I was going about driving scared, just everywhere we was going, I was uh, paranoid. Yeah, that went on for, man, it didn't subside for like two hours, you know, is it the watermelon, what is this? And so I came home and I told my wife and she was alarmed about it. It happened the same week. I was doing back, I remember now, and uh, we was working out back. 
and we was doing the hyper extensions for our lower back. And I must have been, you know what I mean? Your body's slanging. It's probably coming up citric, the acids up in it or whatever, and hitting that throat lining. So, yeah, it happened twice in the same week. And it was scary, man. Uh, I'm like, man, I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this uh, fast because I'm losing sleep. I'm getting that acid reflux or energetic or heartburn, and it's not comfortable. I, I don't like it. All during this time, the poops, I'm pooping maybe every second, every two days. Poop now was a not even a thought of mine. when I, Before I started to mono eat the watermelon, like eating fish and salmon, I mean, and, and, and I was eating uh, pistachios from Wonderful, and they got all them oils and all that bad stuff, so I was pooping like at least two, three times every morning. And then that went from every two, three times every morning to every two days pooping. And it was hard poop with a rip, rip your anus poops. <laughs> like you gotta, I'd be like, dude. <laughs> and then, oh, then it come out big, long like that, fat. It was day like 21, 22. I was up early in the morning working, man, in, uh, in the bakery. And God just spoke to me, man. Because it was all, you know, you guys could see. It's all these people talking about me, doing the fast, and how dumb I am. And, you know, uh, risking my health. And, you know, this, this was sent to me by God to do. You know, uh, I met some Oh, people that wouldn't even talk to me before. Now they talk to me and, you know, want to interview me. And just because I took control of my health, you know, so it, it turned out amazing, man. Now I feel I'm in the health and wellness sector. I ain't in bodybuilding and fitness. During this whole time, we going to the doctor. I got blood work done beginning of the test all the way to the end. Little change, not dramatic because, I, like I said, I was already kind of cleansed out. Uh, I just had to get rid of the fish. So, yeah, during this whole time, I went to a wellness clinic. I went to my cardiologist. I did everything, you know, a person should do in my condition. You know, I, I wanted to prove to everybody. I wanted to show blood work and what I was deficient of and stuff like that. So we have that. We're going to show that. Great results, you know what I mean? Great of mono. It just defies what the internet says and doctors. The infamous chocolate chip. Pretty, pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Hulk. Oh, oh. Oh, no better cookies in the world. They're taking pre orders. So it never got hard for me, uh, the challenge. I wanted to continue on. So what happened was day 25, maybe? Yeah, day 25, I had an episode. Uh, didn't sleep at night. The day before, I worked in the bakery 12 hours on my feet. At night, me and my wife, we went crazy like it was in the I thought I got a f at least three hours of sleep. So I had to, I went to Venice Beach. And as I was driving to Venice Beach, I was telling uh, Hyphy Whitey, man, I feel sluggish, sleepy, actually. I, I just felt not right. And so we get there to Venice Beach. I do some push-ups, try to warm up. I tell him, man, I don't feel it. You know, I just don't have it. And I didn't eat <clears throat> or drink. I didn't want that interdigestion to happen. So that was a no no. I didn't have I was like fasting on zero. I probably had nothing in my system. So I do some muscle ups, 12 of them. Felt okay, not overly powerful. Did some <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> did some more pull-ups. Then I did some dips and I tried to do some curls like this. And as I was doing like this, each time I did it, my energy just left. And I mean, I had zero energy. First time in my life, just absolutely helpless with no energy. And uh, it, was a, it was scarier than the heart attack. 
because I had energy still with the heart attack. I could walk and function, and it just felt like heartburn. But this energy was gone, man, and uh, it was scary. And I knew I didn't feel nothing in my chest or heart, so I wasn't worried for that. And I knew it felt like another experience I had when I was in bodybuilding. And with bodybuilders take insulin to get big, uh, you could go, they call it a hypo. Like you could get to the point where your body don't have enough carbs in it. And you got to eat something sweet and sugary. So it felt like that. So I wasn't too scared. And sure enough, they got me in the car, dragged me in the car. Hyphy drove me. As I, uh, 10 minutes into the drive, I told him, uh, hand me my watermelon <laughs> and uh, watermelon juice. So I drank some and I ate some watermelon in the back seat as he was driving. And I felt my energy coming back up. So I was dozing in and out of sleep as he drove me home. Once I got home, ten, well, five minutes before I got home, I was back. Like, nothing happened, normal. And I'm like, wow, this is... And, and, and then the voices come in my head, like, diabetes? You know what I mean? You got to eat to get the sugar, and is that diabetes? You know, it just all the chit-chat and all the uh, voices came in my head about that. And uh, so that was alarming. It became a question of mine. And so that was that experience. And that was like the only bad thing that happened. But I wrote it off as exhaustion. Uh, hadn't ate. Uh, I was over 12 hours fasted. And, you know, just off of watermelon, it burns off so fast that, you know, that was a bad mistake I did. No sleep and not eating and, you know, being exhausted. And so after that, you know, I told people about it, and they like, oh, you, especially my wife, she was like, you need to cut this right now. Uh, and I couldn't. I, I needed to complete the mission. So, yeah, so we completed the uh, challenge. I did day 31, almost 32, 31. I think I broke my fast on 32. And I broke the fast with uh, other fruit. So we got the video, you guys uh, see before it is, actually. Uh, so yeah, I broke my fast with other fruit. And that was fun. You know, even though I didn't like a lot of the fruits, I love soursop. It's addictive. I love mangosteen. It's super addictive. I broke it with melons and uh, soursop and mangosteen, uh, passion fruit and a host of other melons. So it was cool. I, I just rolled with that. Then the second day, I added in sweet potatoes and, and more fruits. Uh, no water still to this day. I haven't had water. And this is like maybe the 35th day or something like that as we record this. Still haven't had water. I'm kind of anti-water now. I will go with coconut raw in the coconut water. None of that packaged or boxed or canned stuff uh, so y'all see me out in the streets with the i'll be the coconut man <laughs> i ordered oh that's right was at the door i ordered me a whole coconut opener thing and uh this is gonna be another ordeal so uh yeah man that was my experience great experience i recommend it to everybody spirituality went crazy Third eye open to everything that's going on. People putting stuff in foods, packages, and awakening, man. Uh, man, I just look back like I wish I would have did this or knew about it like 20 years ago. Amazing. I recommend everybody doing it. I'm going to do it every year. When watermelon season hit, I'm doing it every year, man. Uh, so all you guys can join in. So I think the next thing we might not eat is uh, grapes. I'm a, as long as I got me a good source, incoming source of seeded grapes. And you always want seeded, man. Don't never fall for uh, the seedless. Of course, it's more convenient. So is the microwave. So is McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Everything that's convenient, not good for you. I hope this uh, helps some people because I haven't seen no in-depth, detailed videos uh, about 
people going through the challenge, uh, you know, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I lost a total of 10 pounds. I was 190. I came down to 180, which I could have pushed more if I wanted to because I was doing cardio. I kind of eased up off the minutes of cardio. We worked out every day. Uh, other challenge. Uh, so that was fun. Worked out every day. We might have missed a day or two because of work in a bakery or something like that. Yeah, in a bakery. But I got the leanest in my life, the most ripped, vascular from the watermelon. Um, a whole abundance of benefits. And like I say, I, I went, I got off my heart meds just without doctor approval or nothing, man. I'm like, Watermelon has every aspect. It, it helps heart disease, uh, citrulline, uh, the nitric oxide, open up your blood vessel. Uh, it thins your blood, which aspirin do. They want you to take aspirin. So it had all the qualities to keep my heart healthy, you know, and that's why I did it. I'm still not on meds to this day, not bragging or boasting, but I will take herbs to uh, be in a place of medication. And, uh, you know, like I said, I had a stint. I need to regenerate my heart, so that's my focus. And so it was an awesome experience. I, I recommend everybody to do this. You'll lose a huge amount of waste and weight. Waste, W-A-S-T-E, and weight. You know, so, uh, yeah, man. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you took something from it. I'm just trying to process if I forgot anything. And it feels like I got everything out to you guys that I wanted to. Um, peace and blessings. Love. We need that right now. We're going into a weird space with, uh, you know, people trying to infringe on our rights. And what we should have is human rights. You know, uh, they're trying to impinge on that. And uh, we just got to wisen up, open your eyes, and stop eating this poison. Love you guys, and uh, thanks for all the support over the years. And we go keep it fun and lit, baby. Love y'all. We out.